What's up, folks? Bring another one. Um, this one's a how to install the Intellitronics Digital Dash on what is it, 84 through 89 Corvette C4 Corvettes. And this is what basically comes in the kit. You get the the tent, basically. You get the circuit board. You get not too sure what that one is for. I think it might be for a thermostat or the oil temperature, one of them, and this. So first thing you want to do is take off the back board, or should I say cover, and that is a, what is this thing, a 732. Take off those five screws, one, two, three, four, five, fifth one, and you're going to pop this off. Now you're here at the old circuit board. So now we're gonna have to take these off also. So the next thing you're gonna remove is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws off the back and plate. Then you're gonna wanna pry this up to get this plate off because it's tied into what's plugged into that little metal hooks right there. So you gotta pry this top piece off to get it up. So I can't do it one hand. I still got to loosen this one over here in the corner. So once you do that, you should be able to come right on out. All right, so now you're going to want to take off the 22 bolts to take off basically the main circuit board. So that's what I'm about to do right now. And also, I also like putting the bolts back in place just so I know where they go. So just a little quick tip right there. All right, folks, so I took off the whole last bit of the backing plate, so now I got to take off the mileage thing. So that's the same three screws that hold that in, so I'm going to take that off right now. All right, so now we're basically down to the basic shell, and what you're going to want to do is push these little clips out. And that's what I did. Just, all you got to do is just lift it up and push it out with your thumb, and it'll come out. So now we got to start installing the new hardware kit, like the tent the tent sheet and all that good stuff so once i do that i'm gonna show you all right folks so now i put on the plexiglass in front then i took off the plastic for the odometer i fed the wires to it i don't know what these two wires here are for so i just threw them on the side for later so now you're ready to put the backing plate on so that's what i'm about to do next all right, folks, so this one's a little confusing. One. This is the uh, one you got to hook up the C15 to D11, then to D3. So basically, D11 is going to be this gray wire on the left side. Then you got to hook that up to, I mean, C15 is going to be on the left side. That's this gray wire. Then you got to hook it up to D11. That's on the right side. That's this yellow wire right here and then after you hook that up you gotta hook it up to d3 which is this pink and black wire this was already cut so i just used the one from the main harness and i just tied it all together as you can see everything here is tied together and i soldered it together i'm gonna put some um electrical tape to protect it and then i just soldered another wire because the one on the cluster is pretty short the white wire so I soldered this so then when I loop it around I could hit the connector so it should work that way but that's probably one of the most confusing ones to do because a lot more jumping over and looping the wires together but more to come all right so now you got to install your temperature sensor and it's right there I don't know if you see that little pong right there once I move the wire see it right there it's like I already took the wire off but right there that's your water temperature sensor so you gotta take that off and install the new one that's supplied and run a new harness into your engine bay so that's what i'm about to do now so when you're going to install the oil temperature sensor wiring you're going to have to take off the freaking wiper motor because chevy had a bright idea to put your oil sensor right in front of the wiper motor so you got to take the wiper motor off it's going to be three 10 millimeter bolts and then you're going to need a 13 millimeter to take off the nut in the back so you can reach the freaking oil sensor. Cause I have some small hands and I'm I was struggling. So I had to take the motor off 
because it recommends you wire a new line for the oil temperature sensor. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, folks, so one thing I noticed on this harness and the paper is the paper said you need a red wire consistent 12 volt and there is no red wire with a consistent 12 volt so i called them and they said that basically i use the pink wire it's going to be the power wire so yeah it's kind of crazy and then the dark brown wire here this is for the high oops the dark brown wire here is for the high beam and the light brown wire is for the brake switch i guess that's if you need it but as you can see more to come once i finish up wiring all the harness all right folks so it's done wired up only thing i'm gonna do is probably solder and tape the ends up so they don't touch one another and yeah call the day it wasn't that hard but everything works only thing i do is set the speedometer and yeah we're good i mean it's not that complicated but you just gotta look at it read over it a few times and you'll be good all right peace